Welcome to episode whatever of my Let's Play. You just heard me drink water. How exciting is that? I just got Beric. And he needs vitality. I want him to be my rock. My sentinel. Uh, yep. You are... Okay, if I will go to Beric... I want him... Protector. Cool beans, cool beans! Super excited. Quite really like this game Will so do. far. I think I'm done here. Talk to everybody. But I do have all those loot indicators, so I should loot. Take all. I live for the Vanguard. Graven Ash protects. Certainly do. More money. Say like this final bit probably has an apple or something. Oh, all right. Fate Binder, you look like you need to talk. What can I do for you? Seem like more than capable fighter. I trained with spears and shields in my youth, but gave it up the day or despair like iron. So I can throw with accuracy, but it's challenging. It's a challenge these days. Why were you interested? Show me how a northerner would impale. No offense, but I'd rather keep my fighting technique private. Perhaps later. I'm in the line. Enemies can't cross. All other, but I suspect you. So ask away. Do you seek the trade of war, or did it find you? I suppose I knew fighting was in my blood. This favor offered me a chance to use that skill to bring peace. Otherwise, I'd wind up on some brigade or enforcer or crooked merchant. You think Ash and his legions bring peace? That's cute. But doesn't hold water where I'm standing, big guy. I've seen them spill as much blood as any chorus gang. You've been too clearly busy sacking village and stealing crops to notice how a proper war is conducted. Two are worse. Yes. Speaking ill of the great general is not wise. Well, I'm an earshot, earshot fate binder. I'll kill you. Hey, the boss has a point. Trading jabs is fun, but it's not going to get us anywhere. May I continue this story, or do you plan on interrupting again? The disfavored needed recruits in anticipation to march south. They offered to care for my mother and brother as long as I stayed in the Legion, which is better guarantee than you'll find elsewhere. I was the least fighter as long as most of the concern, though still green by disfavored standards. Luckily for everyone, my skills improved. I asked about his name. It's Barakanian or something like that. <sighs> Story. It is a symbol of Kairos's will. One that I am not likely to forget. I found this armor. Perhaps it would be better to say that it found me during the Edict of Storms. When you hear that Kairos will proclaim the Edict, he rushed to the field of battle, the Fort of Star, I should shoulder to shoulder. Some of the most deadly variants in my plan by him is danger. Our march with the hasty one. The courts of favored soldiers vanished of the second year of the war. Among them, the daughter of Graven Ash. After a long silence, we learned she was held in the fortress. As we surrounded the citadel, I heard the opening pearls of thunder, as did the scouts. I was trying, busy trying to kill. Then the winds hit like an avalanche. Many of us begged Kairos for deliverance. What else were we to do? The winds knocked the legs out of our offensive out from under us. All the decorated swords I brought to the battle were swept and dashed into pieces, their armor and body mixing with the dirt of a tornado that spun madding revolutions. A piece of the citadel wall broke off and nearly crushed my skull. I only remember a few scattering moments from the storm. 
Like the flying bits of bronze and iron cutting my flesh. The severed limbs of falling soldiers tumbling through the air. Eventually I woke up, thinking to myself trapped under the rubble. When I rose and felt like I was buckling under my own weight, that's when I realized I was struck. Right, truly struck inside of... Stuck. Not struck. Inside the... What happened to the Ash's daughter? She was trapped behind the walls of the Sentinel Stand, imprisoned by Kairos' storm as well as the fortress itself. A thousand shoulders, sto soldiers standing shoulder to shoulder could not have endured those winds to rescue her. How did you survive? It is a mystery to me as well. Did Kairos hear my pleas for mercy? Did, it, did this heap of scrap metal protect me, imprison me, punish me? I don't have enough fingers or toes to count the possible reasons, so I try not to dwell on them. Farewell. Uh, who's Rona? Alright. Looks like we're leaving. Well, this does go faster this second time. This is not going to take three hours. But we are going to the Scarlet Course camp. We're going to be interrupted by Ebb. Luckily, she does a decent amount of talking. So I don't have to worry too much of my voice going out on me. That's far enough, Fatebinder. Tunon sends us the Queenslayer. The old judge has a sense of humor, I'll give him that. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. I buy As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. A few Shit. of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. He is with the course now. Then if we see him again, it will have to be as enemies. If I may make one more inquiry. What of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? Another dead Oathbreaker. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. We shouldn't be socializing with Oathbreakers. Shut up, Beric. I will entertain them as best I can. After all, understanding is the only hope we have. What is it you wish to know? You I grew up without my knee bent to Kairos, and if I'm going to bow to someone, let it be another Tearsman. We've ruled ourselves just fine for centuries, so we'll give our lives so that our sons and daughters might rule themselves. You make conflict sound like a bad thing. Yes, the younger realms saw frequent battles, but it was never this wholesale slaughter like we've seen of late. No tearsman ever cast an edict on the soil, or forced prisoners to kill each other, or butchered beastmen tribes. There's freedom, then there's trusting idiots with power. Give a man a million marauders, he'll lose sleep worrying over his neighbor's thousand. I prefer my realms ruled by the braver sex. For centuries, we've left the lands to the women, and the seas to the men. And we did plenty fine until Kairos came around. Oh, we don't. Those who believed Kairos could be stopped all died years ago, in the first wave of fighting. It's not about the hope of victory. It's about the hope of inspiring others. It is very likely we will fall here in Vendrian's well. But perhaps others will arise elsewhere. I doubt life is any better sworn to some mad Archon. I'd rather stand with my fellow Tearsmen. Or, I suppose, stand immediately behind them in the event of an attack. Yeah, you heard me. Way things were years back, you'd all be calling me a Water Witch and conspiring to sell me out to the nearest Sage. Just because I'm helping you stop Kairos doesn't mean I've forgotten the hospitality of ages past. And people wonder why the Tearsmen could never unite in time to fight back. It's refreshing to see that some things never change. I would joke that the voices of Narat left the gate unlatched. 
but dozens of warriors lost their lives taking the Citadel. There is no secret to it. We simply attacked with speed and certainty at a time when the Archons were elsewhere in the tiers. The Scarlet Chorus had a rout, and what few disfavored soldiers were present made an impressive showing. But they were surrounded and overwhelmed once the Chorus fled. Uh. Listen to you. Thinking just like the Overlord wants you to think. There always has to be a person in charge or things don't make sense. <laughs> well, we don't answer to anyone. We are each of us sons and daughters of the Tears, and take this task upon ourselves freely. The Captain Tarkas Ari, former Falksman of Queen Vendry and Alanta, is the voice we trust when we seek unanimity. Yes, Deimos is... was... Ari's brother. We were certain he was dead, but... The Captain takes family seriously, so I volunteered to find some answers. That is our way, Binder. Here in the South, only thugs and bandits kill prisoners. The Younger Realms may be guilty of constant fighting, but we never slay each other when the battle's long over. We're not about to change that now. Should have. As a rule, Kairos's forces haven't been keen on swapping prisoners. But I know our disfavored prisoners aren't prisoners anymore. I just assumed they were swapped for some of our own. <laughs> Fair enough. But now a question for you. The Edict. I can feel its magic coursing through the air. Everyone can. But those of us enlightened to the currents of magic feel it most. The wording of the Edict. What was it? In the name of the vaunted North, the will of Kairos should be delivered with blade and hammer, not to the ears of oathbreakers and compromisers. Coward. I don't care. They can know we'll still lose. Curious. You did say all in the valley. So the Edict will affect Kairos's forces? This is most unexpected. That is most troubling. So either the soldiers come to destroy and kill us, or the Edict does the work. I suppose we should be so honored the Overlord is taking no chances on us. I have another question for you. Are we really standing here and chatting with Oathbreakers? It's hard to watch. Like cuddling a goat you're going to kill for dinner. A shame. But if you have no heart for discourse, I will take no more of your time. In accordance to our ancient customs north and south, let us conclude this truce in peaceful accord. May peace find you soon, Fatebinder. Well, that was fun. That was fun! At least I got a saber root. Plus 10 lore. Let's be off. Pick up that. Nice. Okay. We're going to this. Yeah, that's where we're going. <clears throat> I'm almost past where I was. For, for, for something that I don't know if anyone's actually going to watch. It's a two year old game. I'm not exactly known for my Let's Plays. <clears throat> I mean, I do have three on my channel right now. It proves everything. Like, for instance, whether you're fit to lead a flock of, that flock of children. Did not hear the news of the edict. That's foolish distraction. We ought to be saving. What's the problem here? No problem, Melon Binder. Captain Fudgewit here seems to pocket at this challenge. Thinks there used to be run a ship. He's qualified to run a game. So I'm calling him out. The best I see it is warriors ought to follow me, not this new blood. Captain, fuck what was my father. Fuck what will do just fine. If we need to prove our strength, we'll happily do so. But I'll have your hands and feet removed. Care to wager? I could use a few rings. Well, why not? Might as well win this. <laughs> win a string as I get and take her gang. I'll pry. I bet five bronze rings on silver shank. Come. Did they all just die? They won't see me coming. 
That wasn't what I expected. Last time I did this, I just um, killed one of them. Huh. I didn't get my rings back. That's bull. Past this point is care course territory. You don't look like somebody's construct. You sure you're in the right place? I'm always in the right place. That walking up, what he, she, maybe it doing here? You dolt! This is the fate binder. She was with us since the gate of judgment. Fudging new fish. Start learning names. Or are you gonna be? I'm sorry. Come right in. Too bad I can't backhand them. How dare they? What's this thing? Signal of illusion. Spectral blur. False pit. Um, Thirty lore. Yeah, we'll make this better. Sign here. Oh, neat. Uh, make this stronger. Spectral blur. What's this one do? Word has reached the court that you have issued the Overlord's Edict to the Archons of War's Secrets. Know that we understand fully the weight of the burden of this and appreciate the loyalty you show in this declaration. Provided you survive this ban, your service will duly recognize. As you navigate the idiosyncrasies and mutual an antipathy of our Overlord's War Masters, remember that Kairos washes all with interest. Those who distinguish themselves, whether Fate Binder or Archon, have the opportunity to rise in Overlord's esteem. Even now, the Northern Courts whisper that more successful, the two Archons would be glad ruler over this peninsula. Similarly, your fortunes rest upon the decisions that I make. Yeah. Is the Overlord truly willing to sack both their armies? Okay. For a handful of insurgents? Is it not so th has no desire to rule over a wasteland? I'm just curious. Play questions aren't bad. Alright, let's get my final member of the party. The Binder 2 on arrives! Just as we finish having a bit of sport with some captives, worry not. We'll have more fun watching another batch momentarily. Now that you have issued the edict and doomed us all to die, have you come to help us climb out of the hole? I trust that your warriors are ready for battle. We know the Orthbreakers are focused in the citadel beneath the mountain spire, but I've learned that this is not their nest. Given their pattern of attack, there must have be a second group maintaining a camp in the outer valley. Unless we deal with this, they'll be attacked from behind the moment we cross the river. The last group of scouts returned the brand new batch of prisoners. One of these prisoners claimed to lead us to the Venturing's guard, though I can use your help questioning. Fine. Perhaps you could less scream and tear us. Information her if we can get ambush Oathbreakers. We could try to take their captain and show the wisdom of the chorus. I will speak to the prisoners. I'll meet you there. She's waiting. Got more lore. Oh. 
Please, someone, I wish to bow before the voices in the rat. I thought all I could find was the redemption of the chorus. This one was ho hollering earlier that she knows the location of the Vendry encampment, but she's she be isn't being entirely honest. I told this thing that I wanted to guarantee that I'd be alive and welcome into the chorus as the captain. Then I'll talk. Otherwise, they'll just kill me once I've opened up. I was dumb enough to join with the Vendrian Guard, but I'm not dumb enough to give my own bargaining prize. Why the change of heart? Because I want to live! You don't need to be the Archon on premonitions to know that younger well realms are gone for good. Kairos is the new strength of the tears. I would rather stand with the Archons than be crushed by them. Well, tell me what you can have. Are the course looking for the captain, Felix, and the crew that I can lead you? Oh, you're lying. Why don't you tell me what you actually know? Well, you, I, you see... So I don't know exactly where my the rest of the crew is, but I say, I mean, I can tell you. Search that one. The dark one is holding... Click his left blue. He was literate. Is one of our crew. He has the orders. It's nonsense! Just a mash of words. She said she had information. She is garbage. Slay the wrench for wasting our time. I heard that you swell felty the voice in the rot. Initiation right would be in order. Seeing as you're an expert of the subject, I will entertain your wisdom. Let's test your loyalty. Kill these guardians with a blunt. She kills them. That is proof of loyalty, my friends. Good, good. Welcome to the Scarlet Chorus. Do not fail us. Where is the slaves to clean up this awful? And you need it. So I don't understand why this game doesn't come up with its own cuss words. Why stick with our cuss words? We're no closer to finding Oathbreakers. Not a cryptid mess. She promised answers and she gave us gibberish. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh but I highly doubt it's gibberish. Uh, more likely, it's one of the local scripts. Can you read this? Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I, I can't... Uh, so, uh, I don't know exactly what it says, but I'm half certain that's Sage <clears throat> Selwyn's handwriting. I'm sure I could decipher that in a few hours' time. Uh, don't need my hands free, but... Uh, I think better when not tied to a post. <laughs> I know, I'm weird that way. Few hours? Either you can read it or you cannot. We well, used to say that doesn't know his letters. I've heard all I need to hear. I'll have some fun with this one. Ah, I can't hurt to give him another few hours. You read the edict. I don't even tell you the sundial works against us. This idle old bag will stall. The voice will be upset if you squandered a source of enemy intelligence. How true. Then we shall put him to waste. He will serve the most river <laughs> and we put him on trial. Faithbinder, I beseech you, be my advocate for this trial. I'm no fool. I know the chorus uses blood, not words, to settle these matters. But you are a servant of the Archon of Justice, are you not? He's obviously... Clearly you need an education in Scarlet Chorus Justice. Anything that satisfies their sick amusement is fair play. If the Conquest is any judge, there are no limits to their depravity. Did Graven Ash castrate you during recruitment, or do you just not know the meaning of the word fun? I'm actually curious. Isn't that obvious? If he's true enemy of the Overlord, he will perish by our blades. If he can survive, then he is strong. Fine. Then, but I'll be his champion. This one needs to live. Good. I like it when Tunon's puppies get their paws dirty. I wouldn't mind taking a swing at some loudmouth chorus braggarts myself. Did you hear, brothers and sisters? Trial by combat is upon us. There we go. Horsemen begin to circle. If they get this work for the adventure, the war would be over by now. Eh, <laughs> Beric does not like them. Begin the chant of gathering. Let the warriors know that tonight's entertainment will soon commence. Brothers and sisters, who amongst you set standards for strength? Who amongst you will help winnow the weak from the strong? Our claimants have assembled at the trial of the Oathbreaker begin. Good. All 
All right. Yep. I'm confused. Why is this still here? Oh, good. Um, spell cold down will go down some. Okay, preservation, gifted healer. We're gonna revival. And eternal flame. And more quests. Let's do a death from above to him. You do a spectral blur on yourself. You. Titan's touch on him. Alright. Arrows is done. Fine. Electric jolt this person. A little searing palm on this person. Oh man, it's not a good thing. Little charged fist on this person. Rebel before me! Red, seeing an awful lot of red. Okay, are you dead? Alright, I need to pause more, obviously. Flash of iron. Let them think they can hit me. By righteous shredding of blood, we found our right answer. Regrettably, it appears the sage is worthy of leaving our camp alive. By custom set. Forth the voice of Narat, you're free to go, old man. Brag to your grandkids that you fell upon the chorus to tell a story. That was fun. Is it really blood? Is it not? My conscripts need more warriors of your skill. I thank you for the lesson. I thought I'd die at the post, and I will be certain to decipher it. Much of the parchment was weathered, but I can make out the important parts of the text. The note makes mention of a meeting in the west of the Tripnet. Metal. There we go! Tripnet is unlocked in the world map, so the old sage knows his word after all. I ask you travel ahead and see if you can get this Captain Fl Florian to yield to the chorus. They will strike at first sight of the chorus gang, but perhaps a parley with you. I know this area is gents. We go at once. I'll show you the way. I'm eager. Slow down. Why? Because what? Living here in a litter of brutes, my old study is under a river of fire. Only missing me. Besides, I rather chronicle the binder that twice proclaimed the Edicts of Kairos. I let a fool let someone else write the story. You want to chronicle me? Well, of course, even if the burning library is never rebuilt. Ah, uh, so it'll still burnt. Our work to chronicle the days and events needn't cease. You're the noteworthy player in this whole war. I can't think of another living faint binder that has been twice been honored the proclamation. Fine. If you're so eager, come with me. Splendid! You won't be disappointed. Are we done here? Let's hightail the trip net. If your new pet doesn't behave himself along the way, I'm not above clipping his ears. Here goes first 20 dodge. 
I don't see wounds. All right, there's a couple of more. Let me see your wares. I'm not trying to be rude. Selling your stuff. Nothing you can do about it. Oh. It's like 25 minutes has passed. And also I want to here. And here. Plus one vitality. You need vitality. All right, that is worse. A little bit better. Oh, you going to wear cloth? Uh, I might as well give you a helmet, but I don't want to cover up your awesome head. He looks so cool. Alright, that's the end of this one. Like and subscribe, I guess. Much love to you. Alt F9.